my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be sitting down to talk about the four credit cards I have as a college student. Um, I'm an incoming PhD student. I just finished up my undergrad and these are the four cards that I had during my senior year and that I'm going into grad school with. Um, I will say there's another credit card on my list that I honestly might apply for today. Um, We'll talk more about that as we get started, but if y'all have any other video suggestions or ideas, um, especially about finances in college, life in college, that sort of thing, please let me know. Um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you've not already, if you are interested in seeing more videos about college finances, um, being an aerospace engineering student, being a grad student, college applications, whatever it might be, um, I would love to have you stick around. So without further ado, let's just get started. Alrighty, the first credit card I thought we would talk about is my American Express Gold card. Now this is probably the most challenging card to get, I would say, of the ones that I have. Um, it definitely has the highest annual fee, but in my opinion has been the most worth it credit card that I own. Um, I have four credit cards, like I mentioned, and some of them are your very classic, typical college student ones, so we will wait on those to be last just because I'm not gonna start with the ones that everybody talks about. Um, but the Amex Gold card, like I said, is definitely a more challenging credit card to get. Um, I am very proud of my credit score, and if you are working to boost your credit score so you have a higher percentage or higher chance of getting a card like the Amex Gold card, diversity is going to be such a big help. Um, pay off your credit cards on time, pay them off frequently if you can. I typically pay off my credit cards at least two times a month, so my balance is always very, very small, which gives me a lower utilization percent. Um, and then, like I said, diversity is huge. So multiple credit cards. I also have a loan on my car with a very, very, very low interest rate. Um, I am almost three years ahead on the payments, but I've sort of stopped paying them just because the interest rates are so low that it's more beneficial for me to have that money in an index fund than to continue to pay off my car. But having that diversity of different types of balances and accounts and loans um, whether it's credit cards car loans that sort of thing can be a huge help so um, I don't know what the secret sauce to me getting approved for this credit card was but I do have a fairly high credit score um, just below 800 and I definitely think um, that helped so so the Amex gold card is a credit card with a $250 annual fee that is sort of the big kicker with this card um, that is not an easy pill to swallow, I will say. Every year when it comes around in February, I always get a little bummed that that credit card, or that, that payment is due, but it is so beyond worth it for me. The major perks of this credit card are that you get four times points on groceries, on restaurants, and then three times points on flights. Um, I travel for work a decent bit and about three to eight weeks a year I am on per diem which basically means the university is paying me a daily stipend to go eat out because I'm living out of a hotel in a different state for three maybe four to eight weeks a year um, so far this year I've lived out of a hotel for about three and a half weeks last year I was eight eight and a half weeks that I spent living out of a hotel doing research in a different state um, with this comes per diem, like I said, so the school or your employer, whoever it is, will pay you a fixed amount per day to spend on food. This is government standardized. Um, it's most of the time between like 49 and $79 a day, which is crazy, depending on what city you're in. Like I said, it is government standardized, so um, you'll get, you know, I spent a lot of time in Lubbock, Texas this year. Um, I got $59 a day for every single day I spent in Lubbock, Texas, just because that's what the government has set for that rate. What that means is three meals a day for those entire three to eight weeks, four to eight weeks, I am eating out. Getting four times points on restaurants when I'm eating out as much as I am for these work projects is absolutely huge. Um, and honestly, is like the main reason I have this credit card. Of course, groceries are a huge help too. Um, this is a great grocery card, especially if you are feeding a large family or if you travel a lot, booking directly through Amex or through direct flights gets you three times points, which is another huge help. 
As far as other common perks of this credit card go, you get $120 a year in Uber credit. So you get $10 a month, that can go towards Uber Eats or Uber. I very rarely Uber and I very rarely use Uber Eats. Um, that being said, like I said, this isn't the main reason why I have this card, but I do do my best to take advantage of this every single month, um, especially I normally just do pickup for my Uber Eats and I've sort of figured out the restaurants that have good Uber Eats and also don't inflate their prices too much to actually make it valuable. Jamba Juice, for example, if you go to in person, Jamba Juice is like $7 where ordering through Uber Eats, it's like closer to 11. Don't waste your Uber credit there, folks. The Amex Gold card also gives you $10 a month for restaurant credit. Um, they reimburse you $10 if you spend $10 or more at a certain selection of restaurants. Um, for example, Grubhub counts, the Cheesecake Factory counts, certain locations of Shake Shack count. Um, the only one I really ever use is Shake Shack. Fortunately, the Boulder Shake Shack counts as one of those select locations. I make an effort to go there once a month, essentially get a free meal. I say that in air quotes because I paid a $250 annual fee, but if I paid it, I may as well get my free Shake Shack out of it. Um, overall, this is a great card for me personally, and I think if that is something you were going to utilize, um, like I said, the Uber credit or the dining credit, definitely make it worth it if those are things you would not be going out of your way to use. I definitely feel like I have to go out of my way to get those benefits, but the four times points on restaurants and groceries, for me personally, especially considering how much I do eat out for work, definitely makes this card worth it. The second credit card that I have from American Express is the Blue Cash Everyday card, and I also love, love, love this card. No annual fee, which is a huge perk, and it is so easy to use. This card gives you 3% back on supermarkets, which I don't really use this card for groceries just because I get better value out of using the gold card. This card also gives you 3% back on online purchases, up to $6,000 in purchases every year, as well as 3% back on gas. So I've definitely made this my online shopping and gas card. Um, highly recommend another great sort of catch-all card to have around, especially with no annual fee. This is not a card that you, I don't think, would ever regret having open for eternity. Um, having cards open for a long period of time is such a big help to your credit score. If there's no annual fee and you can make the most of the benefits, like 3% back on online purchases, that is huge and such a win in my book. The third credit card I have is the Marriott Bonvoy Chase credit card. This credit card has a $95 annual fee and honestly isn't my favorite credit card so far, but I have been doing my best to make the most out of it. Um, one of the big perks of this credit card is for a $95 annual fee, you get an annual free night at a Marriott hotel worth up to 35,000 points, which is pretty darn good um, if you use that wisely. That 35,000 points can far exceed the cost of $95. Um, you could end up getting a 150 plus $200 ish hotel for effectively $95, which is great. The third credit card that I have is the Marriott Bonvoy Chase credit card. This credit card has a $95 annual fee and so far is not one of my favorites, but um, I'm sticking with it and uh, we'll see. We'll see how long that lasts. But one of the big perks of this credit card is that for a $95 annual fee, you get an annual free night at a Marriott hotel um, worth up to 35,000 points. If used wisely, those 35,000 points can be worth, I don't know, close to $200, sometimes even more, sometimes around that ballpark um, for effectively $95, which is pretty darn good. You get six points per dollar spent at Marriott hotels, you get three points per dollar spent on gas, groceries, and dining, and then you get two points per dollar spent on everything else. Um, so in some ways, just in that two points per dollar, it is a great credit card to have um, if you can use and transfer those points effectively. You also automatically get Marriott Silver Elite status and you get one Silver Elite night for every $5,000 spent on your credit card. There are a ton of other perks of this credit card. Um, if you're interested in checking them out, I will have all these credit cards and their sign up situations listed down below if you want to check them out. Um, all of these credit cards in particular have fairly decent sign on bonuses that I highly recommend you take advantage of if you are looking for a new credit card. Um, I sign up for all of them 
almost exclusively for some really great sign on bonuses and there are a lot of great ones going on right now as well that I like I said will have linked down below if you're interested in checking them out. And the fourth and final card that I currently have right now is the Discover Student Cashback It card, which is, I feel like, the most standard college student credit card or first credit card out there. There is no annual fee on this credit card, and there's also no credit score requirement, so you don't have to have a credit score at all to apply for this card. I don't know if I know of anybody that hasn't gotten approved for this credit card, which is pretty darn cool. Um, such a great first credit card to sort of start building that credit and get your foot in the door with building your credit score. A few big perks of this credit card is there are 5% rotating categories. So for quarterly blocks of the year, they will give you 5% cash back on different categories. It might be Target and Walmart could give you 5% cash back during one quarter. Sometimes it's digital wallets. Sometimes it's 5% back on groceries and gas. Um, there's a ton of other rotating categories, but I do feel like at least two of the categories a year are things that I really do take advantage of. Right now, for example, it is 5% back on digital wallets, so I've made an extra effort to use my Apple Pay with my Discover card um, almost anywhere I go and use that as much as I can just because that is a pretty darn good perk. Um, you also get a limited cash back matched at the end of your first year, which is really, really cool. Um, so your first year, if you utilize this card wisely, all that cash back that you get will get doubled by the end of it, which again, that's pretty cool. If you do not have the Discover credit card or if you do not have a credit card at all, I highly recommend you check this one out. Um, such a great first card and such a great card to have in your arsenal. Um, with that no annual fee, it is a card that you will definitely want to have for a long time or honestly, maybe indefinitely, just because there is going to be no negative impact to your credit score as long as you're paying it off on time. Um, keeping it open for a while will only benefit you, especially if you can make use of those rota rotating categories. Um, I have this credit card linked to like my McDonald's and my Taco Bell account, so it's basically guaranteed that at least once a, once a month I'll have some sort of purchase on it, um, even if it's like, oh, and I think it's on my Park Mobile. So I have like I have this credit card linked to a few different accounts, that way I can almost always guarantee there will be some sort of charge on this card, even if it's as small as like $3 for Park Mobile. Um, but, uh, can't say enough good things about this card, especially for no annual fee. Um, a great, great card to have. The fifth and final credit card I want to talk about today is the Bill Rewards card. Now, like I said, this is not a credit card that I have, but is one that I probably going to be applying for and hopefully getting fairly soon. This is a card that gives you one times points on rent purchases or rent payments without a transaction fee, which is huge. So you can actually pay your rent with this credit card. You don't have a transaction fee and you get reward points for it. Um, due to some circumstances and whatnot with how I was previously paying rent, it was unfeasible for me to get this credit card. However, um, as a grad student and now that some things have changed, this card really makes a lot of sense for me. Um, there's no annual fee as well, just another great card to have around. You may as well get points if you're spending money on rent, especially if your rent is not all that affordable and living in Boulder, rent is not cheap. Um, so like I said, may as well be getting points for paying rent without a transaction fee and without an annual credit card fee. No harm, no foul, you're just putting money back in your pocket. So. Um, <sighs> That is it for today's video. If y'all have any questions about any of these credit cards, college finances, whatever it might be, please let me know. Um, I hope you all enjoyed today's video and found some value out of it. If you have not already subscribed, it would really mean a lot to me if you hit that subscribe button down below and click the like button. It really helps me out a lot. Um, and if you're interested in any of these credit cards, I will have everything linked down below so you can check them out for yourself. Um, without further ado, or with that being said, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Peace out. Bye.